Today we're going to show you five different interesting things you can do in the macOS dock besides just opening up your apps. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. So what I want to do today is the macOS dock at the bottom of your macOS screen. There's a bunch of things in there that you can do besides just opening up applications that nobody really knows about. I'm just going to show you five of them. Now, I think most people will know maybe one or two of these, maybe. Most people will not know all of them. I don't think anybody will, but tell me if you do. And I'm going to show you the different things you can do down there, but just five of them today. And these are interesting things, so just sit back and relax. I'm going to show you the five different things you can do in that Mac OS dock that you probably didn't know about besides just opening up apps. Let's get into it. All right, number one, everyone knows that you can use Command and Tab look at my screen, you can tab through all your different open applications. See that? You let go on the app that you want to see and it opens it up. So that's very simple, command tab, but that's not the tip, all right? So the problem with that is you can only go through apps that are open, right? But what happens if you want to go through all the apps, even if they're closed? There's a difference to that. So what you want to do is you want to press on the keyboard, the, the key that's called FN in the globe key, it's the same key in the bottom left-hand corner, so FN or globe. You hold that down and click A. Just let go then. You'll see that it opens up the dock down there, right? So now what you want to do is use your arrow keys left and right, and you can go through all the different apps down there. See this? So you can go through everything down there in your dock, besides not even just the ones that are open, just like you would with Command Tab, but these are even the closed apps. Then all you got to do is just hover over one, or not hover over it, you just you know, kind of go back and forth with the arrows, click the space bar, and then it'll actually launch that app right away. So that's how you actually do it. And there it goes ahead and launched it, but I'm going to shut that down. So that's how you do it. You can actually easily open apps like that. Just again, you hold down the FN globe key and then hit the A button and let go. Use the arrow keys to navigate back and forth through the dock. Hit the space bar to open up the app and you can open up closed apps that way. The next one's easier to show you than tell you. This is tip number two. So I have over here a finder window open and I created a folder called, in, called testing one. See it there? And I'm gonna double click on it and open up that folder. I'm just gonna put that right there. Then I'm gonna go up to finder and I'm gonna do new finder window and open up a second finder window and put it over here. All right, see that? So I got them side by side. Now over here, I'm gonna click on applications. Let's just say you had a bunch of graphic applications. Now I don't in here, but let's just say you did. Um, I guess I have a few, but what you want to do is you want to find them all in the, over here and you want to group them together, all right? So over here, I'm going to create an, you know, if you take an app and you drag it somewhere, it creates an alias of it automatically because it knows that you want to keep the apps in the app folder. So I can go in here and I can take like photos and drag it in here. It's going to create an alias back to it. I can do photo booth like that. Um, all these different things I can throw in here. I mean, just, just for, I don't, I know this is not really a graphics thing. Well, I'll do just do iMovie, I guess. So we got three different apps in there and we'll call them graphics apps or something. So now they're all grouped together. So I'm going to shut down this window over here. And now I got this. I'm going to back out of this and I have testing one and those three apps are right in there with aliases to them. So now what I can do is I can take this and I can actually to take this folder right here called testing one. I can drag it down into my dock down here and just drop it to the right of that line. See that final line right there? I can drop it right in there. It's going to be right in there. Look at that. So now I got all the apps in there, and this is not really the tip. I want to show you one thing that's really cool here, but these are the three apps right here. So if I click on them, it'll just open those apps. So now they're grouped together in a nice package, all right? So you can do this with apps that are not, you don't use that often, but you can put tons in one thing, and you can get to them really quickly. So that's one thing. What I like to do is a couple of things. I like to right click on this. I like to list them, first of all, see that list? All right, so you click that to list. Then I want to right click again and I want to make a folder. So now it's going to be showing this folder down here. It's a blue folder. Now I click on it, it shows the different apps right there. But I don't like the way that folder looks. So this is what I want to do. I want to go into, let me go down in here. I want to go into Keynote. And what I did is, there's actually, if you click on Shapes here and you click on Arts, you know, you can click on any shape here. But I clicked on Arts and I clicked on this one right here. And it's right now, after I did that, it's right here in the middle of my screen, all right? You can make this any size you want like that. But there it is. I actually changed the color already to something I like, like I want it to be red. So there it is. Now what I want to do is actually click on this, right? then right-click on it, and click Copy. So now I copy this to the clipboard. So I'm going to go ahead and just minimize Keynote. I'm going to go back up to this folder, right? Now remember, this folder right here is really the folder down here. But i got to click on it up here. I'm going to right-click on this folder, and I'm going to say Get Info. So I'm going to, I have get info right here and you can see it. Now I'm going to go ahead and just click with the left click right on this folder and it highlights it. See how it highlighted it, but don't do anything else. Then what I'm going to do is go up to edit, paste. Now I'm going to paste that graphic on top of the folder and you can see what it did. It created that and now it changed the graphic or the folder to that graphic. So I'm going to shut this down. 
Shut this down. Now, if I go down here, look at my time or my dock down here. You can see that it created that little icon. So now, let's just say these are graphics and I like that little, you know, clipboard or whatever it is. I click on this, there's all my apps that are underneath there. So you can go ahead and create different icons and different apps and have them kind of launch from that right side of the dock. That's another thing you can do. All right, number three is a very simple one. It's interesting though, so if you have an, let's just open up Finder right here, and I have a bunch of JPEGs. Now, if I want to open up a JPEG, let's say I open it like this, right? And it opens up in Preview. Now you can set it to open up in anything you want. Let's say you didn't do that though, but Preview is what I, you know, what kind of defaults to. But I want to open it up in a different app, but use the doc. First of all, you can always right click on the file. You can say Open With right there. You can try to find an app right here if it's listed, or you can click on Other right there and then go through other apps and finally find it. It takes a long time. Or you can actually just take the file right here, see it there? I can drag it down to the dock. Now, I can mouse over these apps. See, see how, let me go to Photos. So if I want to open this in Photos, I can just drag this right down and I can find Photos wherever it is right here. And see how it kind of highlights it as black? That means if I let go right there, it'll open up in Photos. So it'll directly open up in that app. If I go over Maps, nothing happens. See how it's not black down there? If I go over Photos, it does. If I go over all these different apps, like for Notes, for example, so Notes highlights up, that means if I open it up there, I'm not going to do it, but that means it'll open up in Notes as well and put it, embed that photo in the Notes. So you can actually just drag them down to that dock and then find out which apps will open in it. It's good for like text files and things like that if you want to open it up in different apps. So just try that. It's not really documented anywhere, but it does work. All right, the next one I may have shown people before, but it's something a lot of people still don't know about. So let's just say... Everyone knows that if you go into something like Pages and you want to open up a recent file that you've been working on, you can open it up, you can go up to the menu bar and find, it says Open Recents, and find the file and open it up, right? A couple different steps. There's a way easier way to do it. All you do is you go down to the dock like this with your cursor. Let's just say Pages is right here. Instead of clicking at it to open up the app, you just click and hold. Don't let go. So you hold it. Now watch what happens. It opens up and then it just shows you all your recent files. I have a bunch of test <laughs> files in here. You just go to find the one that you want right there, let go. And what it's going to do then is it's going to launch the application and also the file at the same time. So you kind of cut out all those steps there. So just do that, you know, hold it down. Don't click on it, but hold it uh, with the left button and it's going to open up that menu and then click the file that you want to, that's been opened recently and then you're right in. All right, the fifth one, the last one, if you, everyone knows if you get stuck in an application, you can go ahead and, I think everyone knows, but you can click on Option Command Escape, Option Command Escape. It's going to bring up a menu, and it's going to basically allow you to force quit. So see this? I opened that up. I just did it. It says Force Quit Applications. You can find the app and force quit it. But you have to do that keystroke. It's kind of, you almost have to be, you know, <laughs> it's a hard one to do. Let's just put it that way. When you're, when you're working on the computer, you got to kind of drop everything and do it. The easier way to do this, all right? A little bit easier, I guess. So any app that's open down here, if something happens to it, obviously, again, if you if you left click on it and you hold it down, it's going to be a quit right there. But when it gets stuck, you know, obviously quit won't work in a lot of cases, all right? So what you want to do is you want to hold the option key down on the keyboard, then go to the app down here in the in the dock, then hold it down with the left button. Now you're going to see that it changed from to force quit. So if I let go of option, you'll see it goes to quit. Hold option down, it goes to force quit. See it right there? So you have to hold the option key down and then long press the app in the dock, it's going to let you force quit that dock, or that dock, force quit that app, and then you can go ahead and get out of the app if you have a big issue with it. So I hope that helps people. All right, let me know if you've learned something from this. Did you know all five of them? Now, these are tips. There's so many different tips, and I just kind of, one day I'm going to try to consolidate them all into something. But right now I just think of them, and I'm like, these are pretty interesting. I'll show people. So let me know. Did you know all five or not? And uh, if you did, then I think you're a power user. If you knew a couple of them, I think you're better than average. And if you knew one of them, I think that's maybe average, all right? We'll talk to everybody soon. Until the next video, peace.